everybody and welcome and welcome back to an old series here on the channel that I'm picking up again net chat my net chat videos is a series of videos where I net sit down and chat about different topics more personal relatable topics so today we're talking about productivity I wanted to share six tips that I personally use to stay productive I know this is a struggle for a lot of you guys me including to be productive to stay productive and get an overall sense of productivity so I've come up with as I said six tips on how to make that happen planning having sought out a plan for your upcoming day gives you no option but to do what is on your plan if you give yourself room or choice to do what needs to be done or watch TV which one would you choose Think about it. Well, if you have made a plan of what needs to be done when and how much time you set aside for each task, you are more likely to actually get it done. I find that this is a really effective way for me to stay productive, to wake up and know what I need to do instead of waking up and having a choice. Oh, should I stay in bed, watch a little Netflix, get caught up in death? Dark circle. Or do I actually have a plan that says you need to get up get ready, start filming a YouTube video. But also don't forget in your planning to plan in breaks and space for you to gather your energy to keep being productive. All right, tip two, find a motivator. Find something that gives you motivation to get on your feet and work. Think of something that drives you to work harder to accomplish your goals. Something that makes you excited for the tasks or the things that you have to do. Tip number three, reward give yourself a reward a goal to work for if you give yourself something to look forward to to achieve once you've finished your task you are more likely to be motivated to get it done let me give you guys an example let's say if you sit down now and film the two videos that you've planned out then you can take a bath after to relax or let's say for the next two hours you sit down and you edit your youtube video and when you're done really done when you finish then you can have a piece of cake. It can be small things like that. Anything that will get you to sit down and do what has to be done. Okay, tip number four is to allow yourself to have a bad day. You need to be realistic about how you're feeling and you need to allow yourself to have an unproductive day. If you're just not in the zone, if you're just off on this day, allow yourself to take a day where you're not productive. It doesn't dictate how the next days will be. There's always a day tomorrow. The thing is, if you don't realize that you're being unproductive, if you're trying to force through work, if you're trying to push through a bad day where you're just not giving your best, you will continue to be unproductive. You won't be satisfied with the work you have done. You will kind of walk around this swamp of working slowly, not really being happy with what you do. Maybe you have to start over or have to redo a lot of the things and that is unproductive. Sometimes you just need to take a break and start over the next day with fresh energy. Okay, tip number five is that you need to take one task at a time. Once you've planned out your tasks and how your day will be, don't think further about all the things that you have to do. Focus on the task ahead. Focus on the first task that you're about to tackle and don't think about anything that comes after that. If you think about everything that has to be done in your day, it can be very overwhelming and it can take a lot of your energy away. So take one task at a time, focus on completing that task and getting that feeling of accomplishment from each task. That'll also give you energy and motivation to keep going and take on every task that comes to you. All right, my final and sixth tip is to create your best setting. There's nothing more important for your productivity than to feel comfortable and safe in your environment. Your surroundings and how you feel in that surrounding can have such a huge effect on your productivity and your motivation and your energy. So if you feel energetic and motivated from being outside in nature or for plants or flowers, then buy a ton of trees and plants and put them all over your apartment. Seeing that greenery will make you feel more like you're out in nature. It will give you that energy that you need when you're sitting at your desk or having to iron a thousand shirts or whatever the task is that you need to get done. I think a lot of people don't realize how important it is to surround yourself with things that will give you that energy. Personally for me, I feel very tired, heavy, unmotivated in dark spaces. So for me it's very important that 
there's always brightness, there's always light. For me, it makes a huge difference when the sun is shining. I get a thousand levels more energy from that. I try to stay in places where the sun is shining. Another thing that for me personally bothers my productivity is mess and clutter. If I have a huge amount of dishes outside, if there's clothes on the floor, if I haven't cleaned out my wardrobe in a long time, I immediately feel cluttered in my mind. And it makes it harder for me to focus. Everything seems more complicated. Everything seems harder to do. I get overwhelmed but as soon as I take the time to clean up and get all this clutter away there's automatically more space in my mind and I feel more productive I feel more motivated just kind of figure out what works for you figure out what is the best setting for you to be motivated those were all of my tips on how you can stay productive I really hope you enjoyed this type of video coming back on my channel let me know in the comments down below what you thought and give this video a like if you did like it as always I hope you will subscribe to the channel if you want to see more I upload every Thursday and every Tuesday and I would really love to have you on board here on the channel as always I hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video bye